Hey guys, welcome back to Salvage Master V channel for another episode of Lexus Rebuild. In today's episode, we're gonna unmask everything, then we're gonna start assembling. All right, I finished unmasking. First things first, I gotta install the motor mount back and I have to put those uh, covers over here on the, each apron. I'm not gonna be able to install them afterwards. All right, I installed the motor mount back, took everything away where it's supposed to be. Now let's get our, our uh, engine wire harness, open it, 
compare it to our old one, see what's there, what's not. If something on the new one sits and on the old one doesn't, we have to take it out because that portion is on the engine. Let's do that. Now let's see how this thing fits. <laughs> oh man, lots and lots of plugs. And I quite don't remember where, where they all go. But I'll figure it out. Not the first time and not the last time. All right, guys, while I start installing this part, I noticed one clip is broken over here where, where it clips in. So I'm thinking to replace this one to the old one that came with the vehicle. I don't like broken pieces. I have a chance to replace it and I'll do that.
All right, I found another broken plug. It's actually not the plug, it's the cover itself. So I'm gonna have to take this one out and replace it on the wiring the purchase from Junkyard. Now ECU is in, let's install the tensioner, AC and the alternator. And we should be wrapped up on this side. And after that, I think I will try to start the vehicle. Let's do it.
I think I'm done with all this assembling so I can try to start the vehicle before I continue assembling everything. Let's put the battery back in the place, hook it up and try to start it. And, cr and finger crossed it will start. Let's see if it will start. Let's see. One, two, three. Yeah. <laughs> huh? Check engine came out. Brake, ABS, steering, and a bunch of other stuff. No shakiness or anything. Mission is accomplished. <clears throat> now, I can basically continue assembling whole front end, put the radiator shroud and everything, and be done with this engine bay. Once, as, once and for all, I put a big smile on my face. After you see this car starts, didn't have any issues, Installing everything back together seems like everything went in smoothly and car starts like this Love when this happens like that. You don't have to find the plug or something the what's going on why the car doesn't start but It's a good feeling <laughs> All right Let's continue assembling the front end Let's take this package apart and transfer these motors to other one and transfer all this wiring. Basically transfer everything to a new, to a new shroud.
All right, guys, that's it for this episode. I assembled all the engine bay, installed a new wiring harness, not new, used, but new to me. Uh, what else? We're basically done with the engine bay and front end assembly. Now we're gonna have to move to the bottom section, uh, complete the attaching all, all the parts and everything on the bottom. I need to install the lower control arms. I need to connect the core support with the engine cradle and some other stuff needs to be done. That's gonna be for next episode. My goal was mainly complete the engine bay start the vehicle and basically do everything so I don't have to come back to engine bay for finishing something later. It was an awesome feeling to being able to assemble, assemble it engine bay, give me lots of happiness and actually give me a look of lots of progress, even though it doesn't, it might not as much as I wanted to, but oh well, that's it. Like this video, share it, comment, Subscribe, stay tuned for next build, and I'll see you next time.